HarryAutomall.com. Today, for your viewing pleasure and purchasing consideration, we have a 1983 Buick Riviera in all its glory. Florida car its whole life. White walls on one side, just how you want it. All this thing needs is a paint job. Right off the top, you can see the body is in decent shape. We've got that little uh, mark there on the fender. Obviously, a lot of surface rust from years in the Florida sun. It's a beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida at 3001 North 34th Street. If you want to come see this car in person, here it is, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 6. Call or text me at 813-440-7769. Find me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Herring Auto Mall. This is back when cars were cars, when everything was metal, bumpers were chrome, interiors were like couches. Decent inside, surprising for the year. Even still has its little pull handle with the covers. All intact, baby. Factory everything. Radio, AC works, ice cold, gauges only. 27,000 miles on it. Although it has been documented, it has rolled over once, so it's actually at 127,000. This is powered by the legendary 5.0 Daddy. 5.0 V8. This was the first General Motors car with a V8 and front wheel drive. At the time, this was advertised as revolutionary technology that would get you through the worst snowstorms up the steepest hills. With the reliability of that GM 50. The chrome is in surprisingly good shape for years of sitting in the sun. Really just needs a paint job. Being a Florida car, there is no rust here at the rockers. Frame is solid. You know, surface rust as you would expect, but no holes anywhere, no rot. Trunk, everything's solid. Floors are solid. Now, this car was way before my time. But, I do have the hood emblem. I did buy a new hood emblem for it. That will be included to the right person. It's tough to get this up. It doesn't really want to pop up on its own. I'll address that. But, let's give it a go. That wet spot is on the floor. That's from my feet. I just got in it and my shoes were wet. Okay, now this is a carburetor, baby. And like I said, this is before my time. So, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but from my experience, it seems like you kind of have to... Let's get that going. It is humid as hell here in uh, Tampa, Florida. It's got the center console. I believe that this would have been like some kind of custom option. This steering wheel would have been kind of a custom option. Not sure if it would have came factory if this was done after. The headliner is in decent shape though. The lights work inside. The seats are all in good shape. Ignore my little uh, detail and rags. Um, it's, it's missing little things. It has little, like, you know, there's a little, that's supposed to be over that. Um, I think this seat over here doesn't go forward or back, but the back part goes forward and back. The air conditioner has a tendency to want to blow out of the floor and the defrost when you first start the car. Give it a few seconds and it starts coming out of the vents. Nice and cool. The brake light is on. I'm not sure why. Brakes are good. They work fine. This thing idles decent. 
I really don't know what one of these cars should have ran like, but I assume that this is it. The radio works, but it's kind of low, but maybe that's just the time period. Um, I don't know, it's a good survivor. This is a, a clean survivor. This has not been molested. This has not been, you know, nobody's come through and messed anything up. This is almost a barn find. This is like knock the dust off of it. And here it is, custom horn. Power windows, power locks, all that works. Now, back in the day, this would have had a Riviera symbol here and it would have lit up at night. So as you can see, part of that is inoperable. The gas tank filler behind the uh, license plate. You remember those days, huh? All the exterior lights work. This is kind of similar to what the other side should look like. And I believe that this is supposed to light up at night. Um, as I've said before, you can tell that this car spent a lot of time sitting out in the sun. The roof all the way across, all that paint's gone, but it's just surface rust. Give it a good scuff and it's ready for your uh, custom paint job. These cars, I've heard, are touted as a personal luxury coupe. And at the time, you know, this would have been... Well, some people say that this would have been above the Regal. And I don't know if that's true because I wasn't around at that time, but... It's a decent car. It's cool. And the thing is, during my market research and figuring what I should post this car up for... I'm finding only one locally, and they wanted $5,900, and it was obviously from up north. It had rust holes in the fenders and in the rockers. The bumpers were rusted out from the inside out. Um, this one, I think, is in considerably better shape. It's not perfect by any means, but it's ready for you to put your touches on it. It's ready for a good clean paint job and roll this thing out. Did you hear the way that door closed? You remember those days? I don't. Every gear on this tranny is solid. It goes where it should, does what it's supposed to. I will take you on a, uh, on a short little run here. Again, you can find this car at Herring Auto Mall. We are located at 3001 North 34th Street in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Right here on the corner at the roundabout. You can call or text me about this gem at 813-440-7769. Alternatively, you can find us online, search inventory, watch videos, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Our website is herringautomall.com. I'll shut up and let you enjoy the ride a beat. Oh, I forgot that I left that hood cracked. Blinkers work. Brakes are good. Now these blinkers, this technology is kind of cool for the year. They kind of overdid some things that they really didn't need to do. Like the blinkers. Like, you see that where it says right turn? That, I feel like, is not really necessary. They could have just left it just an arrow. Everything is like, anal or not analog, everything's like digital, all of it is lights. You know, you don't have an oil pressure gauge, it just tells you if you have a problem. You don't have a temperature gauge, it just tells you if you have a problem. Um, I don't know, this car is, it's a little bit out of my expertise if I'm honest, because it's before my time, like I keep saying. But just based on the, the little bit that I've driven it around and stuff, it seems pretty solid. And like I keep saying, it's ready for you. This is not, you know, And this hood is damn heavy, too. I'm gonna get that open, damn it, but...
Maybe it could use a tune-up. I don't know. It doesn't shake or misfire or anything, but when you're listening to the idle here, maybe the video will pick it up, maybe it won't, but it's kind of like a... So I don't know. But like I say, this thing rolls out. So where we're going to start on this, you know, let me not even get there yet. Let me not even get there yet. This thing... You turn it in a direction and it goes. This feels like this power steering, it feels better than new cars. Like there's less effort involved than new cars. So that's something interesting. This was probably, you know, almost the peak of American engineering. It's like we had a little bit of technology that made cars more bearable, but things weren't so crowded and cluttered up with all the crap that we have on cars today just things that are prone to fail things that are expensive to fix or impossible in some cases this is missing a lot of those you know unfavorable components and that's what makes this a good buy for somebody who let's be honest i'm in tampa this is what some would call the hood and this is going to be a nice trap car for somebody so if you want to be the proud owner, let me step out and let me say it again. Look at that. That's the kind of stuff I mean. Welcome to Tampa. I love it. So if you want to be the proud owner of this 1993, 1983 Buick Riviera, Riviera by Buick, you see it's special. It's a Riviera by Buick. This isn't just a Buick Riviera. It's a Riviera by Buick, damn it. If you want to be the proud owner of this car, we are going to put her out there for the shockingly reasonable price of $59.95. Disclaimer there is that all prices are subject to change without notice. The price could go down or it could double. There's never any telling. But if you want to lock it in today at $59.95, give me a call. Wouldn't that monkey? <laughs> yeah. If you want to be the one to drive this thing away, give me a call at 813-440-7769. You can always find us online. Browse current inventory at herringautomall.com. Find me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Herring Auto Mall. Don't wait. It's not going to last long. If you're watching this video in a year, I can assure you it's sold. If you're going to comment and complain about the price, I can assure you it's going to sell for that price, if not very close to it. But I welcome your comments anyways. All interactions are appreciated. Like, comment, do what you do. Until next time. Oh, let me get the hood open for you. This is that legendary 5.0 that I was speaking to you about. It's outfitted with an Edelbrock carb. Everything is very factory. So like I keep saying, this is an unmolested, pretty much a barn find kind of thing. Nobody has gone through and messed anything up yet. It's ready for you to mess it up. So what do you want to do to it? How do you see it? You want to leave it like it is, give it a nice paint job. You want to keep the color the same? Do you want to paint it purple? Up to you. Just pay $59.95 and you have the world in your hands with this 1983 Buick Riviera. Riviera by Buick. They just don't make them like that anymore. Look at those body lines. Look at the weight. Through the video, you can see the weight. You just know how it rides. Come on down. Give me a call. Give me a text. I've already put my information out there so many times. What more is there to say? Any questions, comment. I do try to respond to them. But I'm a one-man band, so... Blessing and a curse. Anyways, love y'all guys.